of baptism, and baptism is a way that we remember that we are God's. Uh, in our church, we try to spread baptisms out throughout different Sundays so that people can as much as possible have their own special Sunday because uh, there are some that churches do it all at once, but we want you to know the, the individual and the children. They're all unique. They're all different, and, uh, and you know, Jesus said, let the little children come to me and do not forbid them, for such is the kingdom of God. We baptize children because they are a part of our congregation and a part of our church family. And this time I call for the Livermore family to come forward for the baptism of Ezra. On behalf of the session, I present for baptism Ezra Caleb Livermore, son of Jean and Christy, and brother of Caden. Jean and Christy, do you reaffirm your own faith in Jesus Christ as Savior and Lord? Do you? Relying on God's grace, do you promise to live the Christian faith, to pray for your child's faith, to teach that faith to your child, and to and to raise him in the nurture and admonition of the Lord, do you? Do you, as members of the whole Church of Jesus Christ, promise to guide and nurture this child, Ezra, so that in due time he may confess faith in Christ Jesus as Lord and Savior and may be strengthened in his ties to the whole household of God? If so, please do so by indicating your right hand, raising your right hand. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks that for, the, for the waters of baptism by which you nourish and sustain and cleanse us. We praise you that you have given us gracious promises concerning our children. And in mercy, you call them to yourself, making them with this sacrament as a token and a pledge of your love. Lord, would you give Jean and Christy, whom you have committed this blessed and precious trust, the assurance of your unfailing love and care. Would you guide them by your counsel as they train and teach Ezra and help them lead their whole household into an ever-increasing knowledge of Christ and a more steadfast obedience to do his will? Lord, Ezra has no idea what this means now, nor do we know all its consequences for him or what it may one day cost him. But whatever experiences he endures, would you let him remember that your grace has been with him from this day and will be with him forever. We commend to you the children and families of this congregation. Help us in our homes to honor you and to serve one another. For we pray in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. There are some sponsors here to help Ezra and encourage him in his faith. You promised to encourage Ezra that he might grow up to know him and to love God as he gets older and claim the promises made on his behalf. So will you bring Ezra over here? What is the Christian name of this child? Okay. Ezra Caleb Livermore, child of the covenant. I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And I declare to you that Ezra Caleb Livermore is a baptized member of the Church of Jesus Christ. There's nowhere that he can go that he cannot get away from the baptism of God or the grace of God. Who will all, and God will always go with Ezra throughout his whole life. Let us pray. Lord, each child is special in your sight. Each child is unique. We thank you for Ezra and ask your blessing upon him and ask your blessing on Jim, Jean and Christy and uh, Ezra, Eli, that they would grow as a family together and that you would bless them and watch over them. Encourage Ezra to indeed know your blessings and know your love and know your grace. Lord, we pray for all the children of this church that indeed they would claim the faith and the promises that were made on their behalf. 
We pray this in Christ's name. This time I invite the children to come forward for the children's time.